Hello, beautiful people. Hope you guys are doing fantastic. Today, I'm taking you to the North African beautiful city of Marrakesh. This video was filmed before the Marrakesh earthquake and my sincere condolence goes to the Marrakesh people who have been affected by this unfortunate event. Morocco, a kingdom ruled by King Mohammed VI of the Alawi dynasty. Morocco's constitution recognized Islam as the state of religion and designate the king as the commander of faithful. At the same time, the constitution guarantees freedom of religion and protects the rights of the religious minorities, uh, such as Christians and Jews. In today's video, we are embarking on a motorbike ride through vibrant street of Marrakesh, exploring some of the city's highlights. Today's attraction would be Jada Marjore, the Minara Garden, and the Christian Ronaldo's Hotel. Buckle up, let's hit the road. Moroccan people generally speak multiple languages such as Arabic, Barber, French, Spanish, and very little English. We are passing the Tower of the Seven Saints. Marrakesh is often called the City of Seven Saints, um, or in Arabic, they call Al Araba Al Awliya. parking his motorbike and the sidewalk and now we're gonna walk to the ticket counter and buy a ticket the most beautiful thing about <laughs> Moroccan taxi right <laughs> here's all the taxi guys here keep in mind when you're visiting Morocco it is a common to encounter a taxi driver who may try to overcharge tourists by claiming that their taxi meter are broken so they can charge you four or five times higher than regular price while not all taxi drivers engage in this practice, but it is advisable to negotiate a fair price before you get into the taxi. This area is high class area. There's a lot of foreigners uh, own the apartment, condominium, house, villas, and uh, very expensive area. Finally, we are here to visit Jada Marjorie. Wow, 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 wow. It's a long line and it must be something special. I'm excited to get in and find out what is going on. It's like a one kilometer long line. Wow. And hours to wait. But it's okay. Be patient, right? Getting a ticket now. Yeah, one Moroccan, okay. one American. Moroccan pay less money. <laughs> one US dollar equivalent approximately 10.27 Moroccan dirham. Tourists pay 70 dirham to enter to the park, and the local Moroccan citizen pay 40 dirhams. We're ready to get in. In 1980, the fashion icon Ifshan Laura discovered the garden and was captivated by its beauty. He not only restored the garden, but also made it his primary resident for many years. He passed away on June 1st, 2008 in Paris, France. His ashes have been spread in this garden. So he used to live here. And then he just donated this as a non-profit organization. And the money they make, they help like a Moroccan students uh, who are studying in abroad which is good, it's a non-profit organization. Nothing from the government. Everything is privately done. Start with the bamboos, lots of bamboos tree. Here's my friend, Nofel. 
he came here many many times <laughs> so he knows these places all the time all the time yeah There's one place, uh, important part of this park. Everybody want to take a picture, photo, Instagram photo, you know. So people are here kind of line up and I say, why not take one photo since we are here. If you love uh, plants, cactus, palms, and all kind of botanical garden type, then you come here. He loves plants. He loves collections of plants from another world. So it is really a beautiful place. Lots of people though. Small garden. It's not really that small, but when it's a lot of people, it's becoming small. <laughs> okay. Lofel, yes. where are we going? Minara. Minara? Minara yes. Mall? No. <laughs> Minara Palace? Yes, Minara Palace. Another palace? Yes. New palace? No. Old? Oh, okay. This. Oh, okay. Let's see. So let's go. Nofel knows where to go. The motorcycle was fast, no traffic. They're driving so fast like a Hollywood movie star. It was scary a little bit because I had to hold uh, one hand my camera and the other hand <laughs> balancing myself. Long way to go. Like a half a kilometer to walk to get to the palace. Oh, it's a loss of olive tree. The Minara Garden are beautiful and historic public garden surrounded by thousands of olive trees. Lots of olive trees. Olive Garden. Yes. Morocco has three languages basically Arabic, Barber, and Darija. So Darija and Arabic similarity but the accent different. And the barber is totally different and barber's language, the writing, the letters, the alphabet is also not the same as Arabic, it's different. There's a funny thing happened. Nofel told me, just tell them that you are Arabic. I said, oh, come on, I can't do that. I do not know how to speak Arabic. I can say some small word like a Shukran, Alhamdulillah, or something like that. Bismillah. We can ditch the price for the tourist price. Tourist price is expensive. So he said, okay, you Arab, you look like Arab. And when he came to the window, the guy started speaking to me Arabic and I, <laughs> I couldn't understand. So automatically we get caught. I have to pay the tourist price. So let's go inside. Uh, it's a small palace. It's not really a big one. But compared to the small palace, it is expensive to enter. <laughs> The 
This palace may seem small from outside, but it is pretty spacious inside. The centerpiece of Minara Garden is the Minara Pavilion and the Fish Pond. It is a 12th century structure built during the time of Al Muha dynasty. This is a huge pool. I would say it is a huge pond. The water appears green, kind of murky. It needs an algae treatment. This plant called Luaya in Arabic is like a vine that go around like an anaconda and invasive, yeah. The airport not so far from here, I can hear all the flights. You see beyond this point between that city and this palace, olive trees, only olive trees. Who take the olive? Business? Don't, don't, don't sell in the market? Food, 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 food. They come, they take yes. up, take the olive and bring it home, free. Yes, free. Free olive, huh? Free olive, okay. I have one tree in olive at my home. This time I didn't harvest because a lot of a painful process, that's why. <laughs> From this balcony, you can see the hotel of the football player, Christian Ronaldo. Yes. Right there, let me show you. I don't know if I can focus that far, but let's see if I can. Okay, that building is the hotel, CR7, right? Yes. CR7, CR7. means Christian Ronaldo, number seven jersey, <laughs> right? <laughs> jersey number seven, yeah. That's why his hotel here. Wow. Marrakesh, everybody want to buy property, buy hotel, want to live here because the weather is fantastic, food is great, people are very good here. So, weather is all the time sunny. Beautiful place to spend time. Nofil bought some bread to feed the fish. The fish gonna come. Lots of bread. Just outside the pavilion. There are few fruits and coffee stalls. You can sit in the olive garden and enjoy fresh squeezed Moroccan oranges. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, drink some oranges, fresh. Fresh, yeah. Fresh. 100% or 90%? 100%, 90%. Mm. <laughs> fresh oranges. As I said that Morocco, oranges is always fresh. Nothing come from the bottle. Fake, sugary, no. Yeah, tastes good. There's lots of olive, an olive tree. I'm gonna grab one and taste it. Never try olive from the tree because it's bitter. <laughs> mm. It's so bitter. Oh my god. Can you imagine the olive is. <laughs> Arabic? What? Zaytun. Okay, it's Arabic olive name is Zaytun. Okay, and Zaytun is so bitter. Of course, you have to be treated 
uh, with salt for a few days in the water and then the, all the bitterness goes away and that's the way you preserve olive. Nofel told me, save little battery, we're gonna go to Christian Ronaldo's hotel. Even we can take a little video, that'll be great. Christian Ronaldo is a great football player. Let's go. Someone told me that this camel represent the LGBTQ, but I doubt it. Maybe the color is an accidental match. However, homosexuality is criminalized under the Moroccan law. This is a residential area and a mall, a strip mall, with a lot of brand name here. And at the end is the hotel for Christian Ronaldo. Let's go. Christian Ronaldo's Hotel Pistana CR7 located very close to Minara Garden and it is in between Minara Garden and Kutubia Mosque. Hotel Pistana itself is a testament to luxury and sophistication. Let's check it out. Let's go inside and find out what is going on. Maybe we could grab some drinks. I'm a big fan of him. I'm not sure. Many people probably don't know that Ronaldo is a very kind person and he give humanity priority. I do think he's brave and he isn't scared to say the right thing in public. The hotel has 174 rooms and spacious suites. I'm looking for the bathroom. Uh, finally, I found it is here. Wow, the lobby bathroom is luxurious, immaculate, and pleasantly smell good. The rooftop pool is a good size, although not a gigantic, but it's okay. It has a stunning town view and is an excellent spot for romantic drinks. We are here in Christian Ronaldo's hotel yes. and we are drinking beer in a blue glass. Uh, there's a reason for it. If you drink inside, they're going to give you a beer mug. But if you're outside, which we are here outside near the terrace, and they give you a blue glass because the rules of the residential area, maybe no alcohol drinking outside. So respect the resident. But inside, you are welcome to drink whiskey, beer, anything you want. So we're going to drink here Casablanca dropped. Casablanca beer from Morocco. And we're going to drink that. Cheers. Cheers. And it will go to YouTube. And uh, Nofel going to be in the YouTube drinking beer. <laughs> Your mother. <laughs> beer halal. Beer halal. <laughs> it's a halal beer, okay. Because no alcohol on it. Hmm, it's good. Non-alcoholic beer. Thank you for watching. This video is coming to end. Please consider supporting my channel by subscribing. And if you enjoy this video, give me a thumbs up. I will catch you in the next one.